Hi, today I'm going to show you how I set up my recording equipment and a little bit of my recording process, the instruments I use and how I piece the song together. So let's take a look. First I get out my audio interface which is a Focusrite 414. This is what I plug microphones instruments into. Plug that into the MacBook and then I get out mic stand and I attach the microphone to this. Bit of an upgrade for me. But it's good, I used it a lot, it's made it better. Before I had a regular mic stand that kind of went down and kind of got in the way all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the XLR, plug that into the interface, strap it on. Get the headphones out and plug them in. Got some AKG headphones. Oh, and it's a Rode condenser mic as well that I use. Okay, so pretty much everything's set up. As you can see, it's quite a straightforward setup. That is the beauty of the modern age. It's so great to have quite a compact recording situation for myself. So what I'll do first is figure out what I want to record. So I'm going to record a song called Made of Stars. Um, it's one I wrote a while ago. It's it's, um, it's first I'm going to record a song called Made of Stars. So the very first thing I do is for a song like this is pick up the 12 string because this is going to be the foundation of the song. It's the soul of the song. And that's why it's such a great instrument for recording and playing live with. So I'll move the mic into position. This this handy mic is on spring so it just kind of turns so I'm going to just get it nice in front of, of the 12 string. Try and position it around the sound hole. Give myself a little distance from it. Uh, there's a sensitivity reader on the audio interface and I know roughly where I put it for the 12 string but you can see on the, on the graphics on the computer you can see how much input you're receiving and if it's peaking or whatever if there's too much signal or not enough and you can adjust it that way. So I usually record to a metronome. Some of my songs do change tempo during the song and I map that into it using the program on the Mac which is called Ableton 11. So for this song it would be... So if I've got that kind of... if I've got that tempo down then I can tap that in, so I'll tap that in. So that's coming in as 65 beats per minute, which is pretty chill tempo. Let's see what that sounds like. So that's gonna work pretty nice for that section of the song. I'll see as it goes along if I do need to speed up the tempo in another section. So this is where we kind of start playing it by ear and getting a feel for what we want to do. And it's all kind of learned things. I've been recording like this for, what, like seven or eight years. So I've got a, I've got my own method of doing it. And of course, make sure I'm in tune before I start. The computer has a built-in tuner, which is just incredibly useful. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the exact process on the computer today. If anybody wants me to do that, I could have a go in the future. There are videos on YouTube about it, but it's not me saying it, so maybe you want to hear me say it. <laughs> or you want to see my particular approach. If you've heard my recordings and you like how it sounds, you know, we could do that. <laughs> So today I'm just going to show you the instrumentation and I'm just going to have a bit of a play really, have some fun. Okay so the guitar's tuned, everything's set up, I've got my headphones on and through the headphones I'm going to have the metronome tap in. I do that so that the microphone doesn't pick up the sound of it. So I'm going to go for a take on guitar of this song and then see where we're at after that. <laughs> Okay, so I've made a rough guitar track there, and what I've done now is I've made a drum track to go with that. So the drum track is kind of mapping the song now, and now and I'm going to re-record the guitar to the drums so they get a way tighter sound. So the end product sounds really tight and cool. Okay, here we go. So this is what the drum track sounds like at the minute. I'll just give you a little idea of what we're dealing with. <laughs> So it's just kind of a straight beat for me to lock in with the guitar. Okay. 
Okay, the guitar track's down. Next I'm going to put on bass. I don't need my headphones on for this because the bass goes straight into the computer so you're not going to get any feedback. The mic's still there but I'm not actually using that. So it means that you can hear a bit of the guitar track and the drums that I've done so far whilst I put bass on it. Now some harmonica. And now some vocals. You are made of stars. Yeah, you are curve and spiral spheres. Let us be here. So the last thing I'm going to put on this song for now is electric guitar. I'm going to play it from beginning to end, just jam it out a bit. I have a few ideas. In reality, I'm going to add some other tracks of electric guitar, but so that you can hear the song from beginning to end of everything that I've done so far, I'm just going to do this one track. So let's try it out. Oh, start from the beginning. Quickly, on us, 
sacred journey Give yourself the time You'll realize your divine Give yourself a chance To see That's not too bad. I will redo some of that and have a listen through it and figure it all out, but there you go. There's a bit of a general gist of how I piece together my songs. This is a song that I have written thoroughly and I know very well, so it is quite straightforward to do this one. A lot of the songs I do, I actually write them as I record them and it takes a lot longer because I'm changing parts moving things around, changing lyrics. Um, it's all part of a creative process which has taken a while for me to figure out my creative process. Um, I do have a few different processes but this is one of them. So I hope you've enjoyed checking out how I record. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!